Welcome to Pastry Living, this is Aya. Today we are making two types of chocolate buttercream with cocoa powder and melted chocolate. So let's get started. So you may have wondered before what types of buttercream you should use in order to make chocolate buttercream such as American, Swiss, Italian and French buttercream. Or you may wonder if you should use cocoa powder or melted chocolate. And we want to pick one depending on what kind of cakes and desserts we are making. So I came up with delicious that you can use for any types of buttercream to make things a little bit easier. I'm going to spill the most important tea at the very beginning. This is the delicious with cocoa powder and melted chocolate. So if you have your favorite buttercream recipe already, you can use that. Or in the past, I shared my Swiss buttercream, French buttercream, and American buttercream recipes in this channel. They taste amazing and you can use them as well. So now I'm showing how to make the chocolate buttercream with the two methods, sharing all the important tips on each step. I'm gonna start from chocolate buttercream with cocoa powder. It's very simple. I am using my Swiss buttercream as an example, but in the end, I'm also sharing how it looks with my American buttercream and French buttercream recipes. So first add cocoa powder and heavy cream into the buttercream. If you want dark, rich color and taste, use Dutch processed dark color cocoa powder. So cocoa powder make the buttercream really thick. So add heavy cream to make the buttercream a little bit looser. If your buttercream does not contain salt yet, add salt. Chocolate and salt match so well. So I'm gonna add big, huge pinches. As optional, you can add like vanilla extract or um, espresso powder. Mix with lower speed first so that cocoa powder is not gonna scatter everywhere and gradually speed it up. You can see here that they are not blended evenly yet. In order to make smooth, even chocolate buttercream, cream all around your bowl and spatula at least a few times on the way and whip more to make it more airy. By doing that, the volume goes up. If you want heavier buttercream, no need to do this. Today I baked chocolate cupcakes from my chocolate banana cake recipe. Keep in mind that the color gets slightly darker as it sits and get exposed to airs and heat, just like food coloring. With American buttercream, it is much sweeter, but I've gotta say, compared to plain American buttercream, chocolate American buttercream feels less sweeter, and I actually like it much better. With French buttercream, it is softer, but it is a rich buttercream, thanks to egg yolks. All right, next, let's make chocolate buttercream with melted chocolate. We have the same amount of Swiss buttercream here. So first, let's melt chocolate. Today I use 60% kombucha chocolate. It's up to you. You can use the percentage you like. If you want rich chocolate buttercream with more bitterness, I highly recommend you to use around like 70% and with them, the color of buttercream gets darker as well. And to this melted chocolate, today we are adding heavy cream to make ganache. Add cold heavy cream this time in the warm melted chocolate. By adding cold heavy cream, it doesn't take too long for the ganache to cool down. You could add melted chocolate directly into the buttercream, but by adding ganache, you can avoid a small risk of chocolate getting chocolate chips partially, and it's just a little bit easier to handle with ganache. Don't forget to clean up the all around the bowl and spatula. And each time you add heavy cream, Make sure that they are evenly branded. Everything is even. Now make sure to wait until it cools down to room temperature before you add it to the buttercream because the warm chocolate can melt butter. If your ganache is cold, warm it up just a tiny bit to make it room temperature. All right, just like earlier, add salt and whip well. So again, just like earlier, make sure to clean the bowl on the way to make even smooth buttercream. 
chocolate buttercream with melted chocolate makes more grassy, smooth texture. Chocolate discs such as Kubuchu chocolate have a variety of flavors like nutty flavor, smoky or citrusy flavor. The biggest plus of this chocolate is that you can customize your chocolate depending on what kind of cakes and desserts you're making and add the special note. As you can see, the color gets more pale when you whip. Enjoy the frostings with any of your favorite cakes. They are absolutely delicious. Tell me which one you would like to try for your next baking project. And of course, you can play around the amount of cocoa powder, melted chocolate, and heavy cream and enjoy different versions. If that is a chocolate buttercream with melted chocolate, the biggest main reason would be because the ganache was too warm. So make sure that it's at room temperature when you add it so that buttercream is not going to melt. With the cocoa powder chocolate buttercream, it doesn't really get loose just by adding it, but uh, it could be because of the room temperature. I recommend to just go over all the tips uh, from original buttercream recipe and see if you missed anything. You can double, triple, or more as long as it fits in the bowl. So this one really depends on what types of buttercream you used to make chocolate buttercream. So for example, uh, Swiss buttercream typically is good for up to five days in the fridge and about a few months in the freezer. So just follow the directions from the original recipe. I would say yes if you want to perfectly, completely remove the lumps of cocoa powder. But at the same time, even if you don't, it's still delicious. If you want to pick efficiency over perfection, you don't need to. Definitely, yes, uh, any types of buttercream get harder in the fridge when it's chilled because it contains butter. So uh, if you want to enjoy the soft texture, I recommend just leaving it at room temperature or if you have to chill in the fridge, uh, make sure to leave it out from a fridge a little bit earlier. Um, this really depends on the room temperature, but typically it takes about a few hours or sometimes only one hour to like five or six hours. Cheers! All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know if you enjoyed it. And if you have a question, leave in the comment section below and I'll try to answer them as many as possible. Enjoy pastry at living and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. So tell me which buttercream you like then. <laughs> you haven't tried the other one yet. Tricky, tricky question, isn't it? Wait, I know. You like that one better?